Lesson 23 homework. Number one, sort the following expressions by rewriting them in the table. So we want to sort them by products that are less than the box number and into groups that are products that are greater than the box number. So in order to find ones that are less than the box number, to make it smaller, the product, in order to make this product smaller, we need to find anything that's being multiplied by something that is less than one. So we're looking for anything that when we multiply is less than one. So here is one in 989 thousandths less than one? No. Is one in two hundredths less than one? No. 921 thousandths, is that less than one? Yes, it is. So this is going to be less than one because we're multiplying by something less than one. So 828 times 921 thousandths is the first one to go in there. One in 11 hundredths is not less than one. One in 26 hundredths is not less than one. But one tenth is less than one. So that's also going to go in here. Now the other box is product will be greater than the box number. So here we're looking for anything where the number that we're multiplying by is greater than one. So is one in 989 thousandths greater than one? Yes. So this will go in here. Is one in two hundredths greater than one? Yes. Uh, we already used this one. Is one in eleven hundredths greater than one? Yes. And one in twenty-six hundredths is greater than one, so that's going to go in here as well. Okay. So what do the expressions in each common column have in common? So I'm going to say, well, in the first column, the box number is multiplied by a scaling factor that's less than one. So first column, we can say boxed number is multiplied by a scaling factor let's say less than one so the products will be less less than the box number And then let's say in the second column, the box number is multiplied by a scaling factor greater than one. So the products will be greater than the products will be greater than the box number. Number two, write a statement using one of the following phrases to compare the value of the expressions, then explain how you know. So remember, if we multiply by something greater than one, it's going to be greater than the one. If we multiply by something less than one, it's going to get smaller. So we want to know if it's going to be slightly more than, a lot more than, slightly less than, or a lot less than. So let's look at the first one. If we multiply 14 by 999 thousandths, is that going to be, let's just start with more than or less than 14. Well, 999 thousandths, that is less than one. So we know it's going to be less than 14. Is it going to be slightly less than or a lot less than? 
So we're going to, is 999 thousandths slightly less than one or a lot less than one? Well, it is just slightly less than one, like barely less than one. So this is going to be slightly less than. I'm going to say because... 999 thousandths is slightly less than one. B, one and one hundredth times two and six hundredths. So we want to know, is it going to be slightly less than, let's just start with less than or more greater than two and six hundredths. We're multiplying by one and one hundredth. So that is greater than one, so we know it's either going to be a lot more than or more than, slightly more than. Now, I'm going to choose slightly more than because because 1 and 1 hundredth is just slightly more than 1. Right, it's just barely bigger than one, so it's just going to make two and six hundredths a little bit bigger. Let's see, 1,955 times 19 thousandths, is it going to be less than or greater than 1,955? Well, we're multiplying by 19 thousandths, so that is less than one. So it's either going to be less than or slightly less than. Or it's going to be either slightly less than or a lot less than. Now, 19 thousandths is a lot less than one. So I'm going to say that this will be, is a lot less than. Because 19 thousandths, I forgot zero, is a lot less than one. And D, 2,000, I'm going to write it out, 2,000 times 1 and 1 ten thousandth. Is it going to be greater than or less than? So we're multiplying by 1 and 1 ten thousandth. So that is greater than 1, so it's going to be more than, but is it going to be slightly more than or a lot more than? I'm just going to say slightly more than. Because 1 and 1 ten thousandth is slightly more than 1. And the last one, 2 thousandths, so that would look like this. Two thousandths and two thousandths times nine hundred eleven thousandths. So nine hundred eleven thousandths is less than one, so it's going to be less than, but will it be slightly less than or a lot less than? Well, nine hundred eleven thousandths is pretty close to one, so I'm going to say it is slightly less than. Because 911 thousandths is slightly less than 1. Number 3. Rachel is 1 and a half times as heavy as her cousin Kayla. Another cousin, Jonathan, weighs 1 and 25 hundredths times as much as Kayla. List the cousins from lightest to heaviest and explain your thinking. Okay, so we have Rachel, we have Kayla, and we have Jonathan. So Rachel is one and a half times as heavy as Kayla. So I'm going to start. So one and a half times Kayla. Jonathan is one and a half times, or one and twenty-five hundredths times Kayla. And then Kayla is, they didn't tell us how much she is. She is just, she, she's just Kayla. So what I'm seeing here is if Rachel is one and a half times Kayla, 
and Jonathan is one in 25 hundredths times Kayla, that to me says that Kayla is the lightest because everyone else is multiplied by her weight, multiplied by something greater than one. Now, Jonathan is multiplied by one in 25 hundredths. Rachel is multiplied by one in five tenths. Now, which is greater, one in 25 hundredths or one in five tenths? Well, one in 25 hundredths would be smaller than one in five tenths. So Jonathan would be next. And then Rachel would be the heaviest because she's multiplied by one in five tenths. So you can kind of explain what we just thought through there in your own words. Number four, circle your choice. A times B is greater than A. For this statement to be true, B must be greater than or less than one. So for this statement to be true, for it to be for this to be greater than just a, it must be greater than one. So two expressions to support our answer explain include one decimal example. So I'm gonna say if a is three and we multiply by something that's greater than one, let's multiply by four, we're gonna get 12, right? So here, three times four is greater than three, right? Because three is a. So there's one example. If we want to add one as a decimal example, we just need it to be greater than one. So we could even just make it three times four and six tenths is greater than three. So there's two examples. And B, for this statement to be true, a, B must be, so here A times B, this time is less than A. So this time we wanna make it smaller. So it's making it less than, right? Two expressions to support our answer. So it needs to be something that is less than. So if A is two, two times something that's less than one, a half, that would be less than two. And now we just need to think of a decimal that's less than one. So two times four tenths would be less than two.